I'm Brian Peterson, the planning director with the city. Jay Owen, city engineer. Anthony Nemchek, active transportation coordinator with Live Healthy Red Wing. And tell me why we're standing here today. We're here today because our, our uh, pedestrian activated signal system has been activated and is ready to be used at the mid-block crossing between Franklin and Hill Streets in Red Wing. You can see a quick trip behind us, Sherwin Williams right across the street. And what's the official name of this, Jay? It's a Hawk system, a high intensity activated crosswalk. And how long has this been in the works? Well, the city adopted a complete streets policy about five years ago. And what the, the thinking of that policy is, is to really not just think about how uh, people drive their cars on our streets, but also think about how pedestrians and bicyclists and other modes of transportation are, are using our street system. And the, uh, this project was really a result of wanting to create a safer pedestrian crossing across the highway at a mid-block location between the downtown core and the Old West Main Street area. Because if you live on this side of the street and want to get across that side of the street, it is like, ready, get set, you have to run like crazy to get across. You know, we've probably all seen kids and other people rushing across the, the road trying to uh, cross between, you know, pretty fast moving traffic. So this is all about creating a safer pedestrian crossing. And why did your organization get involved? Well, a really big focus of our organization is to make it easier for people to walk and be active every day. And we really were pushing for these pedestrian amenities to make it easier for people to get around on foot, people that maybe aren't able to drive or, or require uh, foot transportation. And Jay, can you give us a demonstration now? Yeah, I can talk a little bit about the, the system itself. Um, one thing you'll notice uh, different, we do have uh, pedestrian crossings that are an LED flasher that give a warning to drivers that there's someone in the crosswalk. Um, that's different than this system. This system functions where the, the vehicles will actually stop. There'll be a red uh, stop and it'll be an enforceable stop just like a signal system. The difference is when there's no pedestrians here using it, the traffic goes on through as though there's no uh, signal here at all. So it's only when a pedestrian activates it, pushes the button, that the yellows will come on, warning the drivers, the vehicles, that they're, they're approaching a signal that is going to turn red, just like a signal system either at Broad Street or Old West Main. So um, once that's activated, the yellows will then turn to a, to a red ball, and the uh, pedestrians will get their, uh, their goal um, to cross, which will be a countdown timer, and uh, just like they see at any other signal system. And that countdown timer will give them time to cross the street. Um, then once they've cleared their lanes um, and made their crossing, the vehicles will, um, it'll be turned to a flashing red, which will allow the vehicles to move through if the pedestrian have cleared their lanes of traffic. And then after the flashing reds, it'll go to a dark system again, the way it is right now, meaning there's no pedestrians and the vehicles are moving on through uh, as normal. So it is a different system than a warning system, and it's, a, it's actually an enforceable uh, traffic uh, signal to stop traffic to allow pedestrians to safely cross. And does it see me? What's that? Does now? it sense me? It does not sense you. It's completely on a time basis. So if, you, if you're a slower pedestrian and don't make it all the way across, you'll see out in the middle there's a median and another push button. So it's not sensing, but it does give you another refuge to stop out there and make another crossing. So you could push it out there and, and get the, the uh, next 24 seconds to cross, so. Let's do a demonstration. Walk sign is on the cross. Main. Main. Walk sign is on the cross. Main. 20, 19, 18, 7, 1. Now they'll push the button again to cross the street one more time, and then you can watch the lights have changed to yellow now. It's flashing yellow as a warning to let people know. Now it's changed to red, and now they can cross the street. 17, 16, 15, 14, 
14. Uh, now it's, uh, the vehicles can move or can go with flashing reds if the pedestrians have cleared their lane of traffic. Oh, okay. And that's part of the confusion right now. People are waiting until the uh, until that system goes dark before they go. The vehicles are. And there's a uh, sign that we could add to the mast arms that will tell them that they are they are free to go on flashing reds as long as there's no pedestrians present in their lane. So, as long as there's nobody walking across the street then, how about if there's somebody waiting? If there's somebody waiting, uh, the people waiting on the sides will have to wait until the next phase of a walk signal because if you noticed, we got to this end and it's gone to, uh, you know, a don't walk. So really, um, if there's someone waiting, they should not be crossing during that trying to cross during that flashing red. They wait till the next cycle, push the button, and get their own walk signal. So. But you could tell there was confusion. The drivers didn't really know what to do. Yep. They, they knew to stop. The drivers know to stop. They see the red, and the reds go solid. They're stopping. But once the reds start flashing, that is an option for them to move forward if there's no pedestrians present in their lanes. So that is a, that is a confusion part in what uh, other places in the state I believe St. Cloud added a sign on the mast arm informing the driver of that to try to keep traffic moving. We don't want them to have to stop and wait for the for the whole system to go dark. If if it's clear, they should be able to go through this through the uh, crosswalk here. So um, that's a sign that uh, MnDOT had mentioned uh, earlier this week. This, this is uh, only the third installation of its type on state roads in Minnesota. So it's pretty rare and it's going to be something that people will just uh, gradually get used to like we have other um, improvements to our streets and highway systems in the past few years. Nice, if we could get something that would blow warm air up too as we cross the street to <laughs> yeah. warm us up. Yeah, that's yeah. engineering. Yeah. Yeah. We'll figure that out later. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yep. You